Brad here, Buzz TV. Fun, fun night. It's midnight here for me, but we're here with Divine Electric. First thing, what time is it in your part of the world? Because it's Australia over here. Uh, here, it's about almost 7 o'clock in the afternoon, in the evening, if you want to call it. Uh, it's actually very hot, very humid. Um, <clears throat> yes, you know, very sweaty, hot, humidy, ugly, muddy day. <laughs> so, hey, quite real quick, is this uh, like summertime for you guys? Uh, yes, yes. Down here in the Southern Hemisphere, this is our, um, this is our summer. Okay, good, because it's winter here, so it's balls ass cold. Um, well, yeah, it's very hot today. If you need any heat, um, I can send you some. Uh, <laughs> Don't tease, because a lot of the country would take you up on that shit. So, <laughs> so how's life treating you guys? Uh, it's been pretty good. It's been uh, actually very busy. Good. Um, been working um, a lot on new songs. So we've been constantly writing new songs. We've been playing a few shows here and there throughout New Sydney and that. Um, we sort of backed off a little bit and concentrated more on writing new material. So we've got a whole like a stack, whole bunch of new material. Um, also, the guitarist in the band's got his own uh, rehearsal slash recording studio. Right. So just that set up. So we started pre-production on um, recording new album for the new year. So we've been kind of busy doing that. Right. We saw that uh, you know you just popped out uh, the last EP has uh, what five songs on it I think if I'm correct. Uh, it was about. Uh, Three songs. Okay, because um, um, let's see, we were listening to that, and believe it or not, when the show airs tomorrow, you're the artist of the week. So you guys are there. We'll have you up on all the players. We actually have, uh, yes. we actually have a track that's in the credit roll. So the credit roll's about I don't know uh, five plus minutes long because it actually times out to your track. So in fact, I think your track was five twenty-seven. So it's in there this week. We'll send you all the links to it. But let me ask. How long has the project been around, and what's going on, and who's in the band, and let everyone know about Divine Electric. Okay, Divine Electric started... Well, that's not good, but we'll get right back to that. We dropped the phone call, picked it back up, but we were right at the point of uh, talking about the band, how it started, how long you guys have been together, and um, the players, and that sort of thing. Yeah, okay, Divine started about, about 2005, it was? No, two, yeah, about 2005, and uh, <clears throat> since then we've just played a lot of shows, we had the sort of same lineup for a while, and then, you know, the usual rock and roll clean show, all that bullshit started going through, and uh, we sort of went our separate ways, we sort of broke up for a little while, and then a couple of years later we reformed, and Continued it was much better than um, do a change of the lineup, um, and that's it. After that, it just, just kept going and playing. Um, this is myself on bass. Um, there's Igor on guitar. There's Eli on vocals and keys, and there's Paul on drums. Uh, with the writing, Igor and Eli do the majority of the writing. Uh, Paul's written a couple of songs. I've written a couple of songs which I haven't used yet, but yeah, those guys are the main songwriters. So. We all get together and just put our bits together and just come up with the songs and just work on them, rehearse them, and then uh, play them. That's, that's what we do. Very nice. Now, we also got real lucky because during that downtime, uh, I got a phone call, and I'm on speaker here with Shana. Yeah. Hey, Shana, say hello. Hi. How are you? Hey, Shana. How you going? I'm Thanks to yourself. I'm doing great. I just... Well, then it's all snowy here, and I'm going to fix a drink, and then I'm going to head uh, home for Christmas to Yakima tonight. That's cool, that's cool. We're just sweating here, it's really hot. So uh, in a couple of days, uh, most, most people are on vacation here. Um, I'll be taking off uh, probably on Wednesday, Wednesday here. I'll be taking off for a few weeks overseas on uh, vacation, so yeah. A lot of drinking, a lot of partying here, so I'm looking forward to that. Yeah, and you need it. As we were talking earlier about bottling some of that heat, where Shana's at, she got snowed in. She could really use some of that heat. <laughs> uh, the amount of heat you've got here, um, if that was blown over that way, um, 
oil snow would just melt within a few minutes. That hot heat, it's ridiculous. Yeah, it's summertime there for them, Shana. So, yeah. you, yeah. you know, they have it tough. Is it just Zoran or who's with you, Zoran? No, it's just, uh-huh. just Zoran's here tonight. Oh, okay. And the uh, lead singer, what is it, Ellie? She's uh, on a vacation? Um, I'll be on vacation within, like, a, like, on Wednesday. Uh, the other guys already taken off on vacation, so they're not, they're not around. But um, they hopefully down the track, you know, sometime next year we can do another interview and have the whole band here and make another, another interview. So. Very cool. cool. So let me ask a question. Since you guys are in pre-production right now and you're getting all that going, um... We looking at any uh, estimation time of when we might hear something new from Divine? Um, there's no sort of estimation time. Um, we plan to start it, say, sometime really next year after vacation. We sort of picked a few songs, have a whole bunch of songs. So we're having a bit of a fight here, you know, a friendly fight, arguing about uh, which songs they should record. So with this new studio that we built, um, it's basically we can go in there whenever we want, so there's no actually pressure to actually rush and do anything. But having said that, we also want to not take our time too long and actually release it. So we're hoping in the next few months there's something actually released. So it just depends how long this argument goes about picking which songs. That's, that's the main thing. Very cool. We've got a lot of songs. Uh, we're going to pick a certain amount for this, for this album and do some for the next album. Exactly. Now, we also have seen uh, some of uh, the things you've done. You were uh, direct support for Lita Ford when she uh, was down in your end of the world. We're going to be talking to her ooh, within the month, I'm going to say. Uh, we'll definitely make sure we say hi. Yeah, definitely, definitely. Lita was great. Um, she was really cool. Uh, all the band was cool. The crew, everyone was cool. Um, and uh, I'd never seen Lita Ford before. Obviously, we grew up watching her videos when we were younger than that. Um, and yeah, she was a great performer. She was awesome. So, and it was a really, really top night that night. I had a really good time. Everyone just had a great time. It was one of those memorable nights, I'd say. So I actually really enjoyed it. And I also thank her for letting us play on that track. So, I think thanks to her for me. So, Shane, do you have anything you want to ask, dive in on some of this? Well, you know, um, did we touch on Zarn's in another band also? Um, did we ask him about that? What is it? Uh, Kill Razor, is that correct? Uh, yeah, that's uh, all the other bands I'm playing. That's uh, Kill Razor. Um, that's more heavier, it's different to the vibe. That's more like um, thrash metal with okay. death metal mixed together. Um, I've been busy with uh, Kill Razor the last few weeks. We, uh, we actually finished recording our album. Uh, we're just going to have our vacation now, everyone needs their vacation, and also um, just rest our ears, because um, I think I blew my own ears off when I was doing the recordings for the vocals. Um, that album should be mixed early next, early January, and we hope to have it finished and released by February. Perfect, because uh, we, you know, we'd love to hear it, we'd love to send it to our friends, uh, Peak from the Pit over in the UK, they really... Uh, specialize in that style and love stuff like that so you know as soon as you get it out get it to us and we'll send it over to them not a problem as soon as it's ready I'll, get, uh, I'll send it to you guys you guys can check it out perfect it's come up very good we're very happy with the actual production and how it turned out a lot of hard work getting it that way but the end result we're very satisfied uh, looking forward to finishing this songs. let me ask you since I myself haven't really been to Australia What's the music yeah. scene like there? Do you guys actually have something that's good and supports the locals? Or is it a lot tougher, especially for a band to, let's say, get noticed and break out and maybe make a living doing this? Um, here in Australia, it's just far away from everything. Um, there's less population here. So the scene is a lot smaller than, say, in the United States or in Europe. So uh, there's, some, there's a lot of good bands here. But getting exposure is um, sometimes a little bit difficult. Actually, the bands here have to work a lot harder than other bands around the world. So um, we don't get much back up here. Bands only have to do most of the work themselves to actually get their music out there and get noticed. 
So it, like, as, as he needs to say, it's a long way to the top if you want to rock and roll. It's, it, it's, a, it's a hard song down here. Um, with the Finn population, uh, got Sydney, got Melbourne, got Brisbane. Now those cities are like, like 12 hours apart. So right. There's not in between there. So touring and traveling, it's, it gets quite expensive because of the distance and uh, the Finn population. Right, okay, I, I could understand that. Now, uh, if you were based more, let's say if you were based in Sydney, um, tourist time of year, is that something that might be for a band in your part of the world that's a good thing uh, to find maybe a club or a house gig, or is it still even tough tourist season? Uh, it's pretty much tough all the time. With tourist season, people usually um, they go on vacation, so the city becomes a little bit empty, people are going away. But in general, this seems sort of, it's a little bit sort of tough and slow at the moment. Um, it's, it's been allowed for the last probably year or so, whereas if you go back a couple of years, it was really thriving, really pumping. But, you know, all these things, they come in cycles, they all come and go. Exactly. But like, it's a little, been a little bit slow, but I think it will slowly start to turn around. So, um, you know, look, whether, it doesn't matter what's happening, I think we're still going to play no matter what, we're not going to worry about trends, if there's people there or not. I don't care, we don't care, we're just going to keep playing. We well, love music, so, yeah, well, so. And the music gets out there, I mean, Shana found you, um, so obviously you guys are doing it right, and you're getting, you know, maybe slowly, but you are getting out there, and that's a big deal, you know, and we're going to push it, and we have our friends push it, so hopefully the snowball just keeps getting a little bigger. Well, that's the thing. Uh, we were on tour with uh, Striper, you know. We we're talking to them, and we asked them, you know, what's, what's your advice? And they were just like, you know, you know keep riding. You, know, you, guys, you, do, you guys are doing well. You've got some really cool songs. Just keep going. So we took that advice, and we just kept riding. We just wrote a whole bunch of songs, you know. So, you know, I mean, being a musician, you, you know, play music because you like playing music. So that's that's what we do. That's what we enjoy. So we're just going to well, definitely. I mean, we're pretty good friends with Oz, and uh, in fact, I'll see him in the next couple of days here, so I will definitely bring you guys up in just personal conversation. But yeah, they have a new album out, and it's, you know, that's uh, the first one for them in a long time as well. So it's true. Everything comes in cycles. Uh, you know, it's hit and miss, but it's going to come back around again. It always does. And if you just keep, you know, if you keep working, you're definitely going to hit that mark. So, Shannon. Oh no! Go ahead. No, that yeah. was me. Uh, when, you do say, when you do say uh, see Oz, uh, when how's it going, mate? Really cool guys. Oz is really cool. The whole the whole stuff of crew they are really really the most the friendliest, down to earth, professional musicians I've ever come across. There, you, absolutely fantastic live. Seeing them live every day was just mind-blowing that absolutely amazing band and they deserve a lot more credit than actually what they've got they really do i mean they're great guys they're great players um you know it, it, it's weird because they should get a lot more credit than they do i think a lot of it is yep. is that you you know how media gets weird stuff so i think you know um musically i think a lot of people you know that sort of stuff um, lyrically wise, you, you know, with 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 the God angle, I don't, you know, I think critics wise didn't take them serious because of that. They're great players, you know. They looked at it as more of a gimmick when it's not, um, and they're great people. You're right; they're just really down to earth, nice guys. That if you bump into anywhere, you wouldn't go, "Oh, they're rock stars." You just they'd sit and talk with you. Yes, you're definitely on there. And yet um, they sort of get stuck in between. There's the, the hardcore metal people that like, you know, carry on about their, their Christian beliefs and the hardcore Christians saying, why are you playing that music to the devil's music? So they're sort of stuck in between. And I sort of feel exactly. like, I love them. They're a great band. You know, you know, we always we said to them, make sure you come back. You know, they're a fantastic band. If they were playing here every weekend, I would tell you every weekend. They're a beautiful band. Well, again, they have a new product out, so a real big tour should be coming. Shana, yeah, right. I feel like you're lost here. Dive in anytime you oh. want, honey. I'm just listening to you. I just, you know, want to say what a great band I think these guys are. You know, the, the lead singer, he's got just a, a unique voice. 
I, he, he's gorgeous. I love him with his shirt off. Um, you know, he's hot. He's born. You know, you're a great bass player. You're on vocals, too. I mean, it's just such a unique, neat band. You know, as I posted you on your Facebook, on my Facebook page, I mean, you just blew me away with that video. You know, I, I get tons and tons of music sent to me every day. I get tons of rock stars, you know, emailing me and saying, listen to this, listen to that. And, you know, you blew my doors off. And, you know, that's why you're on the show right now. But I text Brad and I said, we need to do something because we need to get them on. They need to get out there. They're fabulous. You know, and I just, I know we're going to be seeing more of you. And, you know, you're just going to explode when you went rock and you have a wonderful stage presence. And, you know, I'm just glad that we met you. And, you know, I'm glad you're doing what you do because you do it well. Yeah, look, Trina, thank you very much, you know, thanks for the opportunity, thanks for uh, putting us here on Bass TV, and um, yeah, we're not going anywhere, you know, we're just, we're just kicking on and just not going to stop, you know, once that ball starts rolling, we're just going to keep going, you know, we've got tons of new songs, uh, we're going to do more video work, uh, there'll be a lot more from us, so, yeah, hopefully we just get out there as soon as we can, and, you know, hopefully one day, you know, to in America, that's what we're looking forward to, you know? we can't keep playing here for it, you know, we want to spread it, you know, and go somewhere else, you know. And um, I think in, in America, our music would go down very good. There's a lot of people who have heard it that actually really, really enjoy it and like it. So um, we're just going to keep going and keep pushing it up. Thanks for the opportunity, you know, by CD. Well, you know what it is? We really like what we heard, and Shane was right. As soon as she shot me a link and I saw it and heard it, it was like, you're right. Uh, we'd love to get these guys on. Um, We'll find a way to cross, the, you know, the difference, and that's why we love doing these Skype things now because, you know, it's definitely going to be a bit before we can make a journey down there to, to physically cover some, you know, bands in general, let alone you guys. So this is a great way for us to talk, get you out there, besides putting you, you know, on the show and have you just where they could hear music. Now they actually could see you a little bit, hear what you guys are about. And then go click the links that are right down here. So there are Divine Electric links. You'll find the Facebook stuff. You'll find stuff to the Reverb Nation right to their website. So right down here, click anything. You'll hit their music. There is a question that I do have. I was on the Reverb Nation page. If I wanted to buy some Divine Electric music right now, where do I go? Because I can't buy it off the Reverb Nation page. Are you guys on iTunes? Um, there was a few things on iTunes. Um, the new stuff... I haven't actually worked out what we're going to do. It might be on uh, River Nation, it might be directly from our website. We're still actually working on that at the moment. Then I guess, yeah. you know, the best thing to do is check their website because the Reverb Nation has a lot of share buttons, but I can't buy anything and I can't download anything from there. We were able to snag some stuff. Uh, we're pretty good about doing certain things. I won't put it out there because, uh, again, okay. it's not for the I'll world. Say